You know, I get asked a lot, Cody, what all kind of knives and sharp stuff do you have just laying around? Would you mind showing us, you know, all of your stuff? Well, it, it takes a long time to really pull it all out, but um, I went ahead and did it. So I'm going to show you guys everything I got. It, it might be a slightly long video, but I'm going to talk about each knife. I'm going to tell you what I think about each knife, um, tell you who made each knife. So, you know, if you're into this, stick around. This is going to be a fun ride. Alrighty, well, bear with me because the sun is not cooperating and my shadow is going to be just in the way pretty much the whole time. But this, my friends, is the smorgasbord of slanging with Mr. Cooper. This is pretty much every single pointy thing that I have. Uh, this is not including my roommate's pointy stuff, Fling and Fernandez. He has a bunch of stuff too. Um, this is a bunch of stuff if you can't tell. So, you know what? Let's just get right into it. We'll start on this side. Early on in my knife throwing days, I had what has probably been a lot of you guys' very first ever throwing knife. Something small like this, just tiny, 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 tiny. Um, near useless, frankly. They're fun for indoors, but really that's about it. It's made out of 440 stainless. Um, you can absolutely throw this kind of knife. They're very, very small. Um, you're not going to get a long way with them. They're going to bend and they will eventually break. That's why I only have two left. <laughs> um, because they all broke. They're great to play with, but not if you're really interested in getting serious about knife throwing. Uh, here is a little tomahawk that I found while shopping around at a camp store. It used to have an acrylic handle on it, and it was never really intended to be thrown, but I throw the crap out of it and have broken that handle to absolute pieces. Uh, above, you see a throwing star. That came from M3 Tactical. It is a rad little doodad. It's just so small. Uh, if I had an indoor target, that's what I would throw at. Um, it, it's a ton of fun. <laughs> it's just so little. Uh, this guy here, another 440 stainless kind of piece of junk. It's it's thin. It, it doesn't have any weight to it. They break like glass if you're not careful. Um, if you see stuff like this, just avoid it. There's no sense in wasting your money. Um, you're not going to get anything out of it. You're not going to learn what you're doing correctly. It has one style of throwing, which is just ridiculous for a knife. Um, it's just not going to be what you're looking for. So I highly recommend avoiding a lot of the really cheap 440 stainless throwing knives. They're just not going to give you what you're looking for. All right, so moving down the line. Han Shu, tell me you guys don't love Bud K. Am I right? Bud K knife throwing uh, has been a big supporter of mine for a long time. Bud K is the jam. They have a bunch of good stuff. Gil Hibben throwers are all really high quality throwers. There's a few of those down here a little bit further. Um, their throwing stars here, the Hanshu throwing stars, are absolutely fantastic cost for value of what they are. You will not be disappointed in this. Hit up Bud K, find you a Hanshu, you'll be stoked about it. If they're illegal in your area, I'm sorry, that's really unfortunate, but for, the, for goodness sakes, they're a blast. <clears throat> Right behind that, I've got this big beast called the Spartan Thrower. Now, it's also from Bud K, uh, made of the exact same steel as the Honshu Throwers, and it's quite durable. I've been genuinely impressed for the size of it, how durable of a thrower it is. Uh, because of its ridiculously large size, it's not the most practical thrower in the world. You're, you're going to really uh, find it lacking in a few areas where some of the more uh, dense knives, so... You can see how thin this one is. It, it's intensely thin for how big it is. It kind of flies like a kite. Uh, it will no spin throw. It will full spin throw. Uh, and it does them both quite well. It comes with a live edge, so it's very sharp. Um, I always recommend dull and sharp knives just because I don't want you to cut yourself. Um, it's a fun knife. And if you've got nothing else to throw, this thing will provide you a ton of entertainment. Um, may not be the best thing to learn with though. So if you're trying to learn throwing, I would avoid this one. If you're already a seasoned thrower and looking for just a weird fun thing to throw, I will recommend this knife. It's a blast. Um, it's just different. <laughs> All right. A lot of you people have probably thrown these. Smith & Wesson, 440 stainless. Uh, I think they're also made by um, 
uh, oh, I forget the other maker. There's a Smith & Wesson version and then there's another cheap version. Um, but either way, these are great. Bullseye, yeah, that's what these are called, bullseyes. You can kind of see it right there. Um, these are awesome, actually. Uh, they're small, but they make a slightly larger version. These are the 8-inch model. They make a 10-inch model uh, that are a blast. You can learn pretty much every single technique of knife throwing with this knife. It does full spin. It does no spin. It does half spin. You name it. This is a really, really versatile, simple design that is great to learn with and is, in fact, the only 440 stainless throwing knife that I will endorse. Uh, this one and its larger model. I used to have about nine of these. I've broken all of them but two. Um, but I still, I absolutely adore them. They're, they're, they're just great. You can't go wrong with those. If you want to compete, they're not going to do what you want them to do. But if you're just trying to learn, those are awesome. Uh, next up in line, we have some pro-grade model knives. Here at the top, we have Flying Steel Knives uh, Talisman Thrower. Uh, these are some of the finest quality throwing knives on the planet. Flying Steel Knives makes world-class throwing knives. These are $60 a piece. You can get them off his website, flyingsteelknives.com. Um, absolutely phenomenal throwers. They are one of the most all-around versatile knives I've ever thrown. Wonderful no-spin knife, wonderful full spin, wonderful half spin. Um, they're too short to compete uh, full spin throwing with but they're the right size to compete no spin uh, and as far as price per value it's really really hard to beat this knife this is a killer knife which is why I have five of them <laughs> all right directly directly below that we have what is arguably my all-time favorite knife this is the bullseye blades Bushman and not only that it is the upgraded model with no holes or anything in it this is a heavier version it's about an inch longer than the standard Bushman Pro this knife is uh, like it, it's a piece of me <laughs> I can't even describe to you how lost I would be without these knives they are absolutely incredible uh, they're competition length for no spin throwing and they work amazingly for half spin full spin you name it I have yet to find an, a way to throw this knife that hasn't been awesome um, they are intended for no spin throwing and quite frankly it's almost like cheating it's point and click you just throw it and it goes uh, I'm sure plenty of you have seen my other videos of me doing long distance throws with these knives. These are without a doubt my all time favorite bullseye blade knife. Uh, highly, highly recommend this knife to anybody. Whether you're learning no spin, full spin, it doesn't matter. This thing right here, it'll make you happy. Stepping on down, this right here is going to be a large uh, barong style machete that I won in a raffle, or rather a, a giveaway from Condor TK. Uh, Condor TK is also a really cool place to get throwing knives when they have them in stock. Uh, this one was a little interesting. The, the temper process I feel like was done incorrectly because it is brittle. Um, I've been able to damage it pretty hardcore a few times. You can see there, there's some chipping. But uh, even so, it's still a wonderful machete. I take it with me every time I go camping. Um, it's a great knife. Awesome my car to handle indestructible handle basically very comfortable the barama shape is wonderful for uh, chopping stuff it takes limbs down without even flinching it's pretty awesome really thick stuff it, it doesn't like right now um, right here we've got a set of bud k throwing knives these are gill hibben pro great throwing knives hey teddy give it a rest buddy dog won't start barking um gill hibben throwing knives right here these are great for learning full spin throwing. They're not great for no spin and they're not good for half spin because they come with a live edge. Now you can take that live edge off and probably get at the very least military half spin, but uh, these are just really good for playing full spin. They're not competition length, but if you want to spend $30 on a set of knives, these are wonderful to learn with. I've gotten a uh, five meter can stick with these before and they are killer. I just love them. Hiding down here on the low end, actually, is a traditional Japanese bow shuriken made by a friend of mine, Nine Flow Budo, uh, on Instagram. Check him out. He is awesome. He makes all of these from old uh, Edo period and uh, some other periods of uh, Japan's history stock metal, and they are just so cool. This is legitimate right here. This is like as real of a samurai throw and shuriken as it gets. I mean, I... 
I only throw them very, very, very seldom because I don't want to ruin them because they're just too cool. Uh, next up is just a random old Ace Hardware Hawk. If you got nothing better to throw, go to Ace Hardware and buy you a cheap old Hawk. They'll get, get the job done. Uh, more interestingly, next to them are two more of the uh, Bo Shurikens from Nine Flow Budo. These guys are modeled off of what I believe was an old school nail from ancient Japan um, that then they transformed into a more durable throwing style blade. These are just awesome. They stick, when, when you throw them, they stick all the way up to there. Oh crud, I got a train coming. I apologize. Alright, moving on down the line. You know what? I'm going to stop and I'll come back when the train is gone. Alright, now that that train has gone away, let's continue on. Uh, and also, now that I'm not completely retarded, I'm going to stand on this side where my shadow is behind me. Because... Duh. Anyways, after the lovely, lovely Bo Shuriken sent to me by a Nine Flow Budo, we have what is the knife that probably started my whole journey. Uh, this is another 440 stainless come from Taiwan, a uh, little kind of rinky-dink knife, but this was the first knife that I really got serious about throwing with. Uh, we had three of them at the time. This is my last one, so I try not to throw it anymore. Um, what a knife. It changed my life. I can't even deny it. They make a bigger version that's more hardy. It's actually like three times thicker and about two or three inches longer, but it's the same shape. Wonderful knife to learn with. If you ever see one of those, I recommend it. Uh, right after that is my plum tomahawk. Uh, this is actually a uh, Boy Scout tomahawk from the 70s. I don't know if you can see that Boy Scout emblem hiding in there right there. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite throwing axes. I've about ruined the handle. i got to get it refurbished. Um, if you ever find a plum, I recommend them. They have great balance. Wonderful, wonderful uh, axes. Uh, after that, got some kunai. Uh, kunai are very <sighs> fantasized, I should, I guess. They're, they're not great throwing knives. They will work, but this ring is really cumbersome. It gets in the way, not very easy to get around, it slows down your release, makes no spin hard, just not a good knife. Um, if you're learning to throw knives, I don't recommend this to start with. Once you actually know how to throw them, they're fine to play with, but just not the best. Uh, here we have a little throwing spike that was sent to me by uh, ZJB Knives on Instagram. You can look him up, ZJB underscore knives. Um, this little fun thing is rad and just a little hammer textured thing he made for himself out of some scrap that he thought I should have and I've had a good time with it. Uh, next up is another set of Bud K throwers. These are some of my favorite throwers from Bud K actually. Uh, they are stainless steel also, but they make me feel like a circus performer. I don't know what it is about them, the shape or something. Uh, I've done a lot of fun trick shots with these knives. They are very entertaining and if you're looking for something to learn full spin with they work really really well they will do no spin but it's not just comfortable i guess it will work but i recommend them for full spin uh then here we have a tomahawk that was given to me by one of my neighbors he threw once or twice at a stump and then decided he wasn't really into it and so he walked over because he knew we did this a lot and gave us this guy it's pretty fun sharp on every edge which is just kind of weird but it does do the job I'm sure you've been seeing me flash this graveyard behind, so I'll go ahead and talk about it. Uh, these are all the bullseye blades that I've broken. Uh, I think I have the current record on broken bullseye blades. I'm up to five or six. I think I'm missing one out of here that I couldn't find. Uh, then that other broken one is one that Night Turtle gave me a while back. I made one of my all-time highest viewed videos out of that knife, and then like a dummy threw it at something I shouldn't have and snapped it clean in half. Uh, then two cheapo camp axes you can get at Ace Hardware or I think even Walmart. They work great. Get one. Any kind of solid steel axe like that, solid metal handle with just a stuck on rubber handle, that'll, that'll throw. You can have a good time with that. Take it to the woods and, and get right at it. You'll do it in no time. All right. Now moving on down the line here, we've got some SOG throwing tomahawks. These right here, they're tiny. But holy cow, they're a fucking blast. I just love them. Oh my gosh. I have done some crazy stuff with these. That spike right there on the back, 
I've done some ring toss stuff with. Um, the bladed side is a hoot because it sticks no matter how you hit. You can hit it almost like that and it'll still stick. It's just crazy. If you're looking to get into tomahawks for a cheap price and you want a small set of something fun, the SOG Little Tomahawks are so great. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They were a, a birthday gift actually from a friend of mine. Uh, next up, this is the Hellfire Thrower from uh, Titan Blade Works. He is taking a small hiatus at the moment to deal with family life, which is good for him. Uh, you got to know your priorities, you know. Uh, this is the first blade-heavy no-spin thrower that I've ever liked. Uh, you can see at the typical balance point, if I let go, it falls forward. Um, I think the actual balance point is about right there, which is a little forward heavy. But I just love it. It throws so good for no spin. Um, it works really, really well for full spin too because it is blade heavy. Uh, blade heavy stuff is typically better at no sp uh, full spin than no spin. But for no spin, first blade heavy knife I've ever actually enjoyed throwing. I, I recommend them highly. When he gets off of his hiatus, I'll make sure and let everybody know. Uh, following that, Bullseye Blades Tomahawks. Uh, these Tomahawks right here, I actually scored professional ranking with at my very first competition. And so Jeremy, the owner and creator of Bullseye Blades, gifted me these as a way to welcome me onto the team of Bullseye Blades. So these are really, really special to me. Uh, micarta handles, uh, textured finish, calls a primal finish, and one hell of an edge. I'll tell you what, the, these axes are insane. They throw like knives, which is weird for a lot of people, but it really works for me. Uh, these are called the Heavy Metal Hawks, and, and my god, I just, they're one of the most prized possessions that I own. There's two of those. Following that, I've got this awesome little lobotomizer from Forever Knives. Let's see if I can get that logo in the shot. Forever. It's hard to see in the shade. Um, this is solid titanium, which is just rad. Uh, it's incredibly lightweight. Basically, it's personal shiv. Um, but I love throwing it. It throws like a bow shuriken like you would not believe. The lightweight... Uh, feel of it and the uh, overall stability of it it's more or less indestructible I, I can't I could probably lift a car with this thing without bending it uh, it's insane it, and look at that tri side bevel I mean how cool is that I just love it it came with a sheath and uh, ulti clip which is now on a different knife sheath of mine over here uh, followed up with this is the number two prototype of the dagger that myself and JR Knife and Tool have been working on. Uh, the new versions are the better, more improved versions. And the number one version of this prototype was actually won in a recent giveaway by a follower of mine, which is just too cool. Makes us Blade Brothers because I have the number two, he has the number one, so we'd be slanging together. After that, got my uh, teardrop dart. This is a creation of mine that I have had a blast throw, and I hit the playing card for the first time with this not too long ago. New personal best, because that is a hard one. It is only intended for no spin. It really doesn't do much else, <laughs> but it sure does no spin well. It's quarter inch thick, quarter inch thick, 1095 steel. Uh, differentially hardened. It's only hard from about there to the tip. Uh, the whole spine uh, butt is soft. But I just love throwing it. I will be putting these into production once quarantine is over because it is a hoot. I love throwing it. Uh, let's see here. Next we got a SOG spear tip knife that was given to me by a friend. This tip comes off and can be screwed onto any store brand broom handle with a thread, basically. Uh, pretty cool. So then you can have a spear for the price of a broom. <laughs> Uh, I did break the tip off, which kind of just happens, so, you know, it is what it is. I was throwing it really hard. Uh, next up is another store brand, uh, Ace Hardware Tomahawk. Uh, Ace has a bunch of good stuff for the really low price of, you know, probably 20 bucks or so. You can get just a woodland tomahawk. 
Uh, they won't last forever, but they will last long enough for you to learn, and you could always replace the handle. So, after that, got some Bush uh, Bullseye Blades Evos. This knife is arguably the best half spin thrower on the planet. I, I have yet to find a knife that I enjoy throwing half spin more than this. Uh, it is intended as a no-spin knife, and it works really, really well for that, but it is by far my favorite half-spin thrower. After that, you got a set of my own personal obelisks, two minis and one large. This is actually the original obelisk, very first one we ever made. We have since changed the design a little bit. We've brought the twist all the way to the bottom. It gives your finger more of a comfortable place to ride as you throw and then it doesn't twist until it hits the very bottom uh, and this one was twisted the wrong direction too so <laughs> it's definitely uh, never gonna leave and go anywhere but right here with me because it is all kinds of wrong uh, this is an original Bushman this is what the other Bushmans look like before they had the holes removed and it is about an inch shorter than the other Bushmans that I showed you originally uh, this knife I scored third place with in my first competition in no, no spin, which was a huge surprise to me. Like I said, it's basically a click and point interface. Uh, I felt like I was cheating. This knife is so easy to throw. Still, without a doubt, my all-time favorite knife. Even the small one is just stellar. Um, here is the Bushman Bushi I'm sorry, the Bullseye Blades Bushido. This is the very first professional grade knife that I ever owned. This is the knife that really took me into the world of knife throwing. Um, you can go way back in my page and see me throw in only this knife for quite a while. Uh, I had three of them. I snapped one. It's over here in the uh, graveyard. I snapped it at the competition right before it was my turn to go on. So I ended up having to compete with only these two knives and I still scored, I think I got uh, first place amateur full spin with these two knives. I absolutely love them. I try not to throw them anymore because I don't want to break them. I will be framing these at some point once I get my range going. These are going in my office. They're my babies. They were a part of me for longer than you would believe. I just, oof. And because I broke them and needed a full set of competition throwers, Jeremy was kind enough to replace them with my new Nobus with the primal finish. These bad boys are the jam. Oh my god, I love these knives. You've all seen me throw them. There's no way you haven't. I've got can sticks out the wazoo, ring sticks for days, distance shots. Oh my god, this knife... I cannot wait to compete with again. I haven't actually had an opportunity to compete with this knife yet, but my god, I can't wait. Because, oh, I'm going to wreck shit. Flip it over. It's got indexing marks and a trigger spot for my finger. So I know where to hold every single time. I just, oh my god, I love this knife. <laughs> it is, without a doubt, the only knife in my mind that could have replaced the Bushidos. Um, I love them every bit as much as I love my Bushidos. Just amazing throwers. Finally, we have, well, not finally, but finally on this row, uh, my sword, short sword by Vendetta Blade Works. I've never owned a deadlier piece of equipment. The, the, this thing is terrifying to me. It's sharp on both sides, beveled on both sides up to the thumb spot, it's modeled after a fighting stick, so I'm sure you've seen people like whacking stuff with those sticks. I don't even remember what that's called, but that is what this sword is modeled after, and it is stellar. Stellar, stellar, stellar. If you need a killer piece of sword in your life, hit up Vendetta Blade Works. Ask for one like this. You will be so happy you did. Came with a Kydex sheath and a handmade... Uh, um, lanyard set. Uh, it is actually made to be worn uh, conceal carry. So you can actually wear that whole sword under a jacket and it can't even be seen. It's pretty intense. Alright, and now for the last little bit, up here at the top is my boy's axe, which is just a short handled version of a regular splitting axe. Uh, I think it's got a three pound head on it. Uh, cheap Ace Hardware version again. Actually, that one might even be a Home Depot. Uh, 
axe. Fun if you're wanting something big to throw, but I've definitely broken that handle more than once, so I try not to throw it too often until I can replace that. Uh, now let's talk about live edge knives. You'd think with all the smithing that I've been doing, I would have made myself a few more knives, but I always end up selling all the knives that I make. So here is the only one that I have actually smithed for myself uh, from Go. This is my Kukri. It's got stabilized walnut handles, um, made from 100 year old spring steel, it's the 1920s. Uh, it is awesome. A razor blade, and I made the sheath for it, and I'm really proud of it. Uh, leather work is difficult and a lot of fun. Oh, then up here, I got this little guy that I call the friendly little bee. I just love this knife. I made this one out of a saw blade forever ago when I was first delving into knife making and stuff like that. Um, I had made, I think, about a dozen or more different variations of this little knife all of which have found other homes um, and to my knowledge are all still running good and st strong this was great piece of steel uh, I haven't found another saw blade quite like it yet actually it was it was a really good one <laughs> I made a sheath for it that ended up being a little too tight so I don't carry it all that often and the scales are starting to separate just a little bit you can kind of see the gapage right there so lessons learned off of that knife no doubt uh, then, this is my current everyday carry knife, also made by Vendetta Blade Works, 5160 steel. Um, it is super utilitarian. Came with a lovely Kydex sheath, uh, which I added an Ulti Clip to, and can't recommend Ulti Clip enough. That is a wonderful brand. Uh, but this knife is great if you need a little small EDC to just like split boxes cut open packages and stuff do your everyday bullshit this is a great 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 knife I love it love it love it love it then I got a couple of little axe heads here this is a modified axe head that uh, I trimmed up and will be putting a new handle on eventually I just haven't done it yet and then another old school I think I think this one's a plum as well. Maybe not. I don't actually know, but they need handles. Either way, there you go. You have now all seen my knife collection. This is everything that I own, with the exception of a few things that are still being made. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, bye.